Hello, it's Joe Glines, and in this video I'm going to show you some um, syntax code of dealing with missing values. Now this isn't getting behind like re um, substituting, putting in a mean or some other value for missing. It's just the basics of um, how you can deal with missing values in your code if you have an if-then statement or you want to replace a missing value with a, with a certain number uh, um, or define it as missing. And just to me, there's I know of three ways that I um, work around them, and so because there's three different ways, depending on what you're trying to do, it's just a little confusing. So um, here goes a quick example of it. So here's a data set where, um, like in var here, or var1 or var2, we have some missing values that you can see, and let's, let's make a few more. All right, so um, they have some missing values. So let's say I wanted to put in um, 999, right, as missing. So what you would do is say, um, if var, e oh, no, wait, if var, huh, ah, if missing var, var equals 999, period. And of course, you need to execute it. So as you can see, it, it I still have problems remembering exactly what I'm doing. Um, so that just went and said, oh, every missing value um, replace it with 999. And of course you can put this in a do loop and, and do all of these. Um, but for now we'll just stick with one. Now let's say actually that you you wanted to define 999. Actually not, let me rephrase that. Um, let's, uh, alright, let's go with that one first. Alright, um, let's say we wanted to define 999 as missing. So you can say missing values for var, that's the name of the variable, um, and then you do this weird thing, you'd put in what you want in brackets. In here, let me show you real quick, I'm going to change the variable view. Notice here in missing, nothing is defined as missing. So when I run this, I'm going to run it, and see now this says 999 is missing. And so if we come back to this view, they st you still see them, right? It didn't delete them, they are still there. However, if we do descriptives, on var, let me bring this over here, you see the uh, the maximum is 8, right? And that is because we've defined a missing as 999. Now let's say, um, define missing values var, um, let's let's make 7 the, the missing value. We're just going to stick with 1 right now, and I run this. Now when I run this one, notice my maximum is now 999, and my mean, of course, is a crazy value because I've just said, hey, 7 is missing. Um, let's say I wanted to do from anything over 10. Or well, actually, I don't know if I can do it over. I suppose so. I've never tried that. But I could say, let's say it's 10 through 999. I believe this when I run it. Um, and now if we just do this, it'll, it'll, it'll get back to what we had originally wanted. Um, and then here, you'll see it has that range. It's using a range from low to high. Um, I might have been able to say, uh, let's go ahead and try it real quick, low through high. I've never done it this way, but I know in recode you can run them that way. Ah, so look, so it did take that, so low through high. So any number, and it would go up uh, any number, no matter how much higher, as long as it's um, over, well, 10 or above, it would be defined as missing, and it would not be included in your statistics. Um, all well and good, but let's say I knew this 999 was actually um, wrong, and I just I wanted it gone, right? I'm an evil guy; I want to get rid of it. So what I could do is say um, compute var no. If var equals 999, var equals, and you put in a dollar sign. Why? I have no idea. Sys miss, period. Now, when we run it this way, nothing happens. <laughs> what did I do wrong? If var equals 999, var equals sys miss. I swear that is the right way. Um, da -dum -dum. let's, oh, if, no, that's right, if far equal, let's just try it with a different one, three, 
Now, that is crazy. So see here, the three, I wonder, I wonder if there's something weird in that, um, w because it was set to be missing, um, see that worked with the three. If var equals 999, var equals sysmiss, and now it worked. I, I don't know what was going on there. That was kind of crazy. I've never, never noticed that. Uh, but now that made it just completely delete. Um, and you can you can do do if and do if missing var, but this is the syntax for basically for controlling for it that way. Anyway, that's it. And as I said, like it's uh, it is confusing because you do deal with it different ways. Thanks.